Hi everyone, welcome to Keto Mama's Kitchen. Tonight we are cooking up some fish tacos. We're getting into the summer. It's gonna be fun and warm. So one of my favorite things to eat, especially living on the East Coast where there's a lot of fish around, is fish. It's such a good source of protein and low carb and it's just delicious. So anytime you can get your hands on some fish, definitely do it. It's worth a little bit of extra money if you have to pay to get it. Um, and let's see what we're cooking tonight. So this is the nice piece of scrod that I cooked, picked up from the store. I'm going to put on some garlic powder and some other seasonings. I'll let you know what I decide. And then I'm going to try something I saw on Instagram which is like a veggie tortilla homemade style. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our um, sprig mix and baby spinach in the blender and with some eggs and some paprika and seasoning. And then I'm gonna cook it in a pan in a really thin layer, flip it over and hopefully make a tortilla. But this is an experiment, so let's see how it goes. I'm gonna be doing a lot of things that I've seen on Instagram just because I want to try things that I see other people doing. And I hope that you guys will go on and join me. So in order to see more content, make sure that you're hitting that bell icon, the subscribe logo, and this way you can see when I have more comments, more stuff coming out. And if you like what you see, give it a thumbs up and a comment, and that way that will recommend other people see it as well. So here we go. All right, here we go. So I'm going to take this spring mix and spinach. I think on the YouTube on the um, other video, they actually use kale and spinach. But if I don't use this stuff up, it's going to go bad. So I'm going to use spring mix. See how it comes out. I figure you can't really taste spring mix that much, so it's not going to be too much of a difference. If anything, it'll be like less flavorful than the kale. And I'm just going to use some hamburger seasoning, some pizza seasoning, some salt, some garlic powder, and see how it comes out. Those are kind of like my go-to. Um, I also think some like basil and some parsley would taste really good in here, especially fresh out of the garden because... Um, you know, a lot of people have those things fresh coming out right now. Ours hasn't really grown much, so um, I just have my jarred spices for now. And then I'm going to grind it all up and see where it goes. Hopefully it's delicious. Yes, one second. All right, and away we go. Maybe. Oh. <laughs> Help me. All right, let's see how this turned out. Moment of truth, it's in the pan. I honestly think it looks a little bit thick. It looks like um, I could have used one more egg in there probably. Um, but it looks like it's coming along quite well. Um, I'll let you know in a couple of minutes when I try to flip it. Alright, so here it is. I flipped it. It's kind of flipped over. It doesn't look like binded as much as it did in the other video. So I'm making another batch and I added more egg to it. I'm hoping that that binds it together a little bit more. And we'll see how it goes. Alright, here we go. Here's our scrod to make our fish tacos. And here's how the second um, tortilla came out. So it came out much better. It's a little bit cracking. But the extra eggs are definitely good. So I would say with the blender about this size, you probably want to use like four eggs and then whatever seasoning. 
beef up the seasoning, put extra, extra seasoning. This way it's more flavorful, whatever flavor you want to flavor it. Um, but salt, definitely good. Definitely add salt. And there we go. We're going to use this. We're going to put our fish inside. I've got some salsa. You could make like, um, like a really light salsa, but I'm just going to use regular salsa, sour cream, fish, um, and maybe a little bit of guacamole because I really enjoy guacamole. But you can make your fish taco however you like. I also wanted to show you this. I also wanted to show you this beautiful caprese salad that my husband made. Yum. And on that note, we're going to go eat. All right, and here we go. We also have some calamari that we topped with a little bit of crushed um, pork rinds. Yum. Dinner is served. So between our tortillas, our fish, and our calamari, and caprese salad, it's a good Saturday night. Hope everyone else has a great weekend too. Here is our finished product, fish taco. So good. The verdict, never again or all the time or maybe. It was really good, so I recommend it. Instagram hack, success. Make sure you go on and like and subscribe.